our tests at Consumer Lab of all of these protein and nut and energy bars, including brands such as David and Quest, Pure Protein, Cliff, and others, showed that some of these actually have far more fat, carbohydrates, or sugar alcohols than listed. I'm Dr. Todd Cooperman, president of ConsumerLab.com. Now, my biggest concern among these is that one of these bars actually had seven and a half extra grams of fat that wasn't declared on the label, which is equivalent to about one and a half teaspoons of extra fat per bar. The company that makes that bar responded to our results immediately and told us that they didn't think they needed to label that amount of fat because it's man-made fat that's not well absorbed and they didn't count it toward calories either. That position, however, seems to be based more on animal research than human research. And even if it's true, it may explain why some people experience a waxy stool when they eat these bars. Also be aware that that fat may absorb some fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin D and reduce the amount that you absorb of that vitamin. In another popular bar, we found seven extra grams of carbohydrates, including three times as much sugar as listed. Now, the good news is that many other bars contained what they claimed, and we found that even some of the nut bars had decent amounts of protein, as well as fiber and unsaturated healthy fat. Among the bars that passed our tests and tasted good and had good value, we chose top picks. Now, even though there are top picks, you're still better off eating a meal rather than a protein bar, a high protein meal, or even using a protein powder. And we have found far fewer problems with protein powders than with protein bars. If you're one of more than 100,000 Consumer Lab members who support our research, you can go online right now and see our results for every one of these bars, as well as our top picks.